in this piece of MATLAB code, we just calculate pi by using a rejection technique. It's a standard script file, so there's nothing special about it. The important work is done in this function called pi sample, which takes a single argument n and returns two numbers, which has the average result and an estimate for the error. That's av and error. So the first thing it does, it starts with something called count, which is set to zero. So count will count essentially the number of accepted points. Then we go to the next line and we do a number of n moves. And each of the n moves takes to a uniform random number, but two of those. So sample is a vector of x and y. We then calculate the norm of the sample and we check that the norm of the sample is less than or equal to 1. If it is, we increment the count. If it's larger than 1, we reject the point. And that's essentially that's going to give us our fraction we want later on. Now, next, we then, towards the end of the function, we calculate the average by dividing by n. And we make sure we actually do a real division rather than an integer division. And we also estimate the error by using the standard technique as the square root of the number of counts. But of course, since we want the error, which is given as a fraction over there, we need to calculate this as a fraction as well. Uh, then next, we just do the calculation and store the result. We want to restore the result in a two-dimensional array, so that requires a little bit of jiggery-pokery uh, in MATLAB. So we actually go for any power of 10, between 10 and a million, and essentially calculate the average in the error, and we store the average in the error in, a, in an array of results. And then at the end, we grab y and e, y being the result, e the errors, and then they, we then make an error bar plot. I would recommend you have a look at the error bar plot yourself and try to work out what it actually does, because it's actually quite useful to have that look and essentially uh, to see what happens. So that's it.